This is a Dalek. Say hello, Dalek. Okay, that's probably the best we're going to get in the way of hello from a Dalek. But, courtesy of teleportation, where we have one Dalek, we soon have two. So now we have two Daleks. We know they're both Daleks because when we look at them, they're very, very similar in appearance. There are slight differences between them. That's called variation. We'll come back to that in a moment. When we've got two things of the same type, and as I say, they're Daleks, they're both Daleks, they're both very obviously Daleks. When we have two things of the same type in biology, we say they're the same species. But it's not enough that they have to be the same type, or at least look like the same type. They have to be do, able to do something very, very crucial. They have to be able to successfully reproduce. And I'll show you what I mean by successfully reproduce. they need to be able to make offspring. And it's not just enough that they need to be able to make offspring. Those offspring themselves need to be able to make their own offspring. So here we have some Daleks. They're all the same species because the two parent Daleks at the back are able to give birth to offspring. And those offspring are able to give birth to their own children. So we say those Daleks are all the same species because they can have babies that themselves can have babies. That means that all of those Daleks are fertile. If they weren't able to produce their own children then we would say they were infertile. Let's get rid of the young Daleks for a moment. So when we look at our original two Daleks we see that they have similarities between them. They're very, very similar. But they're not identical. There are slight differences on the colour. There are slight differences on the exterminator gun, if you look really closely. There are slight differences on the colour of the balls and on the shoulders. There are slight differences on the appearance of the shoulders and slight differences on the uh, lights at the top of the dome. Those are just natural variation. If you think of a species like human beings, they've got variation as well. Some people are different heights, some people have different hair colour, different eye colour, and so on and so on. So variation just means small differences within the same group. And when we talk about a group, we mean a population. A population is a group of individuals all of the same type. So a population of Daleks would be a group of Daleks. So here we have a population of Daleks, a group, all of the same type, but they're showing variation. They're all capable of breeding together successfully. They're all fertile with each other. And when they have children, those children are able to have children themselves. We now have something that's not a Dalek, it's a Cyberman. And now what we've got, instead of a population of Daleks, we've got a population of Daleks and a Cyberman. We've got more diversity there. We've got a greater range of living things. And because it's living things we're talking about and we've got more of them, we call that biodiversity. So with the Daleks and the Cyberman, we've got more biodiversity.
you can see just like the Daleks the Cybermen are showing variation as well with the addition of several doctors we've got an even greater biodiversity now so this is a much healthier environment an area where things live because it's got quite a wide biodiversity it's got several different populations all of which are quite large the populations show variation because variation is a good thing for evolution so there's a few biological terms for you courtesy of Doctor Who and some of his evil enemies.